Ms. Holdhouse, you are here to prove paternity of your three-month-old son, Zayden. Yes, Your Honor. Shockingly, you confess it's either a man you shared a sexual relationship with who wants nothing to do with your child or the defendant who happens to be your mother's boyfriend. <laughs> Now, Mr. Chenault, you are Ms. Holdhouse's mother's boyfriend. Yes, Your Honor. Though you admit you were intimate with your girlfriend's daughter, you say you strongly doubt you fathered her child. Yes, Your Honor. So Ms. Holdhouse's mother is waiting outside the courtroom, and I'm sure she'll have a thing or two to add to this case as well. We'll meet her in a moment. So, Mr. Chenault, how did you end up in a sexual relationship with your girlfriend's daughter? It started out as a text message, Your Honor. Uh, I received it wasn't supposed to come to me and a word was misspelled. It was a word. A few days later, she had on a tight clothing, a uh, no, little skirt, breast out. And next thing you know, one thing led to another. We started flirting with each other back and forth. Things just escalated from there. Wait a minute. You, wait a minute. Did you ever think in your mind this is inappropriate? <laughs> So, Ms. Holdhouse, this all started with a word you misspelled in a text. Yes, Your Honor. He told us the word you abbreviated, and I can imagine how you abbreviated it. You sent the message. Was it meant for him or meant for someone else? It was meant for him, but my mom was sitting right beside me when I texted him this. So, I was asking him when he's gonna come over. Did you have any thoughts, intentions, about having a sexual relationship with your mother's boyfriend? I had not really thought about it until I got a phone call from him. And he was talking about, um, having sex and going somewhere. I snuck out of my grandma's house that night and we went to a park. And what happened at the park? We had sexual relations. So you got a phone call while you're at your grandmother's house? Yes, Your Honor. What did he say? What he... What did I mean by that text that I sent him? Um... And your response was? I didn't mean anything about it at that moment. And then he said... Um... No, I'm serious. I'm trying to figure out how this conversation got from there to the park. <laughs> what did you say to her, Mr. Chanel? Just asked her if she wanted to go out and have a good time with me. And you said... Sure. So, how long did this sexual relationship last? It was about six months. Six months? Yes, yeah, sure. Your did your mother have any idea this was going on? She didn't have any idea until Mr. Chenault and her got locked up and he got out while he was in jail. How did she find out? She had kind of manipulated both of us, saying that I told her about what we did and I never said anything, and she said that he told her about what we did, and he never said anything. And who confessed? Actually, I confessed. You did? Yes, ma'am. Were you also still sleeping with her mother during that time? Yes. Oh! Now, you know that's just nasty. Oh! Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Holdhouse, how were you sneaking around behind your mother's back with her boyfriend? What were you doing? We would just... When she's not there, she left to go somewhere. Sometimes when she's sleeping. Oh. In her house? Yes, Your Honor. Oh. Did she ever almost catch you? Yes. Oh. And when she did, she... What happened? She, she, um... She caught me standing in front of her, my pants unzipped. She was really furious and upset, and we basically got into huge arguments and fights about things that were going on. And, and so, when you found out you were pregnant, Miss Holdhouse, did your mother know anything about this? No, Your Honor. So, tell me what happened. Well, at the moment, I did not know, but my, as my mom was pregnant with my sister, that is, my sister is Mr. Chenault's daughter. Oh. And she was... Wait! How old is her daughter? 
She's about to turn 11 months. How old is your child? He is three months. Three months. When you find out you're pregnant, whose child do you think it is? At the moment, it could have been two guys. Which two? Um, Mr. Chenault and another guy. And I had to sneak out and go tell Mr. Chenault that it could be his, maybe. You were honest? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Chenault, I'm guessing at this point, hoping, she throws you out at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Your Honor, no. Oh. oh, really? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, are you still currently in a relationship with Ms. Holthouse's mother? Yes. Oh! Jerome, I gotta meet this woman. <laughs> Please, escort. Her into the courtroom. I'm gonna have you come up to the witness stand next to the judge and watch your step going up. Have a seat, ma'am. Thank you for joining us. Ma'am, we are discussing a very difficult situation. Mr. Chanel has been honest with this court. He's admitted he's been carrying on a sexual relationship with your daughter. At the same time, he was in a sexual relationship with you. Yes. Did they deny it at first? Yes. But it... your intuition told you something was going on. Right, because my daughter was acting funny. What was she acting like? Um, if I was sitting on the couch next to Mr. Chanel and I would get up to go to the bathroom, she would get up out of the chair across the room to sit by him. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> now, you have a 10-month-old child by Mr. Chanel. Yes. And you may have a 3-month-old grandchild who's also your child's half-sibling. That's correct, Your Honor. And I can see this is tearing you apart. How long have you two been together? We had originally met 20 years ago. Wow. If you've known her on and off for 20 years, then you knew Miss Holthouse when she was a baby. So you watched her grow up. Yes, Your Honor. I also helped raise her. Now, this just keeps getting nastier. <laughs> Do you see yourself at all? Does he look like you? No, Your Honor. You don't think so? No, Your Honor. Does he look like the daughter you have with Miss Bogardis? Maybe a tad bit. A tad bit? Yes. She still brings it up. She still keeps... <laughs> bring fighting and arguing with me over what happened. Um, I'm not allowed to actually have any for real physical contact with Zayden. Because if I do, she complains that I'm being too fatherly towards him instead of being a grandfather towards him. She complains that... So she wants you to be a grandfather to him, not a father to him. She doesn't want me to be anything to him. So, how will this change if you're his grandfather or if you're his father? Because surely, even if you're his grandfather, you can't go your whole life without picking him up. You're right, Your Honor. How is that gonna work? Me and Miss Bogartis just have to figure something out. And so, how often do you get to see Zayden? Oh, uh, we actually all stay together. You all stay together? Yes, ma'am. You all live together? Yes, Your Honor. And you two are trying to work on and save your relationship. Yes, Your Honor. Well, there are rules laid down for me and Miss Holthouse, her daughter. We're not allowed to be in the same room together. We're not allowed to talk or text each other. We're not supposed to really even be around each other. And if we are in the same room together, she turns down the TV so that she can hear the conversations that we're having. Hold on. You all got all these ground rules. 
You're orbiting around one another in this house so you have no contact. I want to know when's the last time you were intimate? Long time ago. Miss Holthouse didn't say that. You might as well tell the truth. When was the last time you two were intimate? You're in court, tell the truth. The last time we were intimate, Your Honor, was about September. September? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Haven't had any more contact? No, Your Honor. You know, I've been a lawyer for a lot of years. You all's body language is off. You so stiff right now, Miss Holthouse. I could snap you in two. And Mr. Chanel, your body language and that twitch your mouth does, that's what lawyers were taught to read the body language of our witnesses. That's how we can better ask questions. And that's why I just gave you all the opportunity to tell the truth. Because it's obvious from where I'm sitting, you all aren't telling the truth. And there's more to this story. See, we deal in scientific evidence here. So I want to know if both of you say you're not sleeping together anymore and haven't slept together since September, we have access and we can take a lie detector test. It sure would calm your wife to be fears if you pass that. And maybe this relationship could move forward like you want it to. Are we willing to consent to the lie detector test on the question of whether or not you all are still sleeping together? <laughs> no, Your Honor, I won't. I'm sorry? No, Your Honor, I won't. How about you, ma'am? No, Your Honor. Anybody have anything to say? No, Your Honor, I really don't have anything to say, Your Honor. Anybody? No, Your Honor. All right, well, that's your business. Moving on. So, Ms. Holthouse, are you nervous about these results? Yes, Your Honor. Are you hoping he's the father? Or are you hoping he's not? No, Your Honor. I really don't hope he's the father. You hope the other guy is? Honestly, no. Because he wouldn't turn out as a good father. You don't want anything to do with him. So, if it's not... Mr. Chanel, you don't think the other guy wants anything to do with him? You're not hoping either one is the father? Are you saying you hope your son grows up without a father? I don't want him to grow up without a father. Well, then we gotta do something. Something's got to give. Mr. Chanel, I know you're probably not allowed to say, given the rules, <laughs> but do you hope you're his father? No, Your Honor, I really don't. I hope I'm not his father. I really want things just to go back to being normal. <laughs> to where... I'm not sure what normal is for you. <laughs> but, Jerome, I'm ready for the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Holthouse versus Chenault Bogardus, as it pertains to three-month-old Zayden Holthouse, Mr. Chenault, it has been determined by this court. You are not his
Thank you, Donna. I can hear you breathe a sigh of relief, Ms. Bogardis. I do think that we all need counseling. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> Ms. Holhouse, what are you gonna do? I'm 20 years old. I don't know, just try my hardest just to do what I can for him. Her mother and I will try to help her. Can you help her and keep your hands off of her, though? <laughs> because I don't believe it. I don't believe it not one bit. If you looked up lie in the dictionary, your picture is next to it. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. And the worst part about it is now that the baby is not yours, see, somebody like you think you got off the hook. So it's not gonna stop you. Ms. White, you are furious that your on-again, off-again boyfriend of seven and a half years got you pregnant and refuses to do anything for your daughter. You say he better step up and be a daddy when today's results prove what you have always known, that he is Makayla's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Holly, you say the plaintiff is delusional and claim you dated on and off only three years. You are certain another man is her daughter's father and you have evidence to support your claim. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. White, tell us why today's results are so important. Today's result is important to me, Your Honor, because I grew up without my father. My father was deceased when my mom was pregnant with me. Wow. So I don't want my daughter to grow up without her father any longer. It's hard taking care of her by myself, and I need help. And I can see right now, you are overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed because I've been through too much by myself, and it's like, you can't live your life and not, want, not take care of your responsibilities. Like, I'm trying my hardest to do it, and it's been almost three years, and it's getting harder. And I didn't have her by myself. And you're getting no relief and no help from Mr. Holly. No. And you feel like, at this point, does he... He sees that you're overwhelmed. You're telling him you're overwhelmed, but he's not doing anything. Oh, I, we, me and Mr. Holly had a rocky relationship, so we haven't talked in three years. Almost so, three years. has Mr. Holly ever met Makayla? He has never seen her in person. So never and seen her in Mr. person. Mr. Holly, you've never made an attempt to see Makayla? No. no and why know, is that? Because I know I'm not her dad. Okay. Yana, it's like this. We was together for probably like three years. Around the time she got pregnant, we was living together, but we was on a, you know, we was on and off for That's like three not years. That's true. Yana, we was living together. I was transporting three cars from here to Miami twice a week. I would leave and go to Miami, come back probably on a Wednesday, leave out again. I would see her in passing. And so, so at that time, you did not feel like you and Ms. White were in a committed relationship? No, She was just staying at your house. She, I mean, we, we was cool for a minute, but then, you know, one, we might be cool two days. And then for two weeks, you know, she on some trip junk, so, we, you know, I, I wasn't on pressure. So when to... you say cool for two days, does that mean you were still being intimate for those two days? No, I wouldn't be there. Now, I might come in on a Wednesday, we might be intimate one, one, one week out of maybe a month that I'm gone. Or, so, Ms. Know, White... I mean, coming back and forth, I meant to say. All right. So, Ms. White, take me to the day you find out you're pregnant. I was having, like, this emotion. <clears throat> and I didn't know where it was coming from. You know, I just started feeling different. And one night, I came home. Me and Mr. Holly was off this night. On again, off again relationship, I was still staying in his house, but we was on bad terms. And I call myself, you know, confiding in someone else. I, I had, um, you know, I, I was with someone else that night. You but... had sex with somebody else? Yes, ma'am. And at that time, I didn't Why think I could get good? pregnant, so I wasn't thinking of pregnancy. So the moment I found out I was pregnant, I immediately called Mr. Holly because I was Are with him mind? more than. Anything. I, I messed up one time, but the whole time Man, we were together, on, we were... So, Mr. Time. Holly, I want to know your... your testimony about finding out Ms. White was pregnant. When did you find out? She, How did see, you find out? First of all, Yana, she had done already cried wolf before oh. I'm pregnant. She done did this on two different occasions. I'm pregnant and she wasn't pregnant. 
Okay, so this, this last time, which was probably some months or maybe a year later, she did it again, um, pregnant. And this time she actually was pregnant, but she had been telling me for like maybe two weeks. I'm like, yeah, whatever, okay, whatever, you're pregnant. I'm, I'm finna hit the road, I'm finna go. So when she told me again the last time, I was like, you know what? Okay, she said, well, meet me at my OBGYN and they'll show you, I'm gonna go take a pregnancy test. I said, okay, cool, let's go. So I pulled up on her, she, she was up there, she pulled up, I was up there, I went in. And the lady went and did the little testing thing, and she said, uh, yeah, it came back, she pregnant. I looked at her, I was like, it ain't my baby. That's and not, I left. That's not how I that left. went, Your Honor. He showed out. No, I, how did she show she, out? No, it I was, show no, no, I it was not, it was no, that ain't my baby. He said, oh, 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 no. I can't, this girl, like, this woman ain't pregnant by me. This, she can't be pregnant. The, yeah, lady, the, the doctor said, oh, my God, you want me to get on him for you? No, she, that, she said, that is embarrassing. Yeah. That is embarrassing. I sat down, I, be, I felt belittled. I sat down, and I sat there, and I told myself from that moment yeah, on, I'm going to have to do this by myself. Yeah, Honor. And that's yeah, how Honor. I went through my Two, whole pregnancy look, by it myself. It was about a month. It was when, about a when month. When I had my child, he Man, told me not to call hey. his phone. Do not contact him hey. because he in a relationship with somebody else, and he was going to put me through postpartum depression, so I didn't want to deal right. with him, yeah. period. Man, she I went on that. She need to get a Grammy, Because um, at the end of the day, he, at the end of the day, he has no, he has no filter. You felt like he has completely abandoned you. I do. And Makayla. Yes. That ain't my baby. When I was pregnant. So when you gave birth, Mr. Holly wasn't there? I called Mr. Holly. Mr. Holly told me, okay, um, if that is my baby, you can't be calling me every day because I'm in a relationship and my girl won't be having that. And I was like, what? what? So you admittedly have not had any relationship with Makayla, the baby, for the past two years. I ain't never seen her. I seen her on a picture. And you have moved on with your life because you are certain that she is not your biological That's child. That's right. That's right. Do you have any other doubts as to why Makayla is not your biological yeah, child? That baby don't look nothing like me. That baby don't... That baby have none of my features. All my other kids have my features. The big gums, the arch eyebrows, the, the dark skin, all my kids do. Although physical appearance can be an indicator, I, 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 we know in this courtroom that you it that. is not proof positive. I, you, I always hear you say that. That's why I say it, it might be a possibility that it's my baby. And if it is, if it is, I'm not going to treat her no so different from my other three. So you are admitting that Makayla possibly could Just be your I, biological child. Because I was child. being intimate with her mom, you know, in, in between. But, you know what I mean? That, that was so you, but hold on. Hold on, because now your testimony is different from what you just testified to two right, minutes Yana, ago. Yana, listen. I, I took her. I, I requested. I requested two DNA tests. He requested one. I requested two DNA tests, Yana. She didn't show up for neither one. So you oh, think man. she was dodging the test because she because knows... Because she knows that it's not that my the, baby. That Mikhail is not your biological not my baby. child. And you also feel like you have done due diligence in this process, meaning you have made every attempt to identify Honor, whether or not she's your biological child. She told child me it wasn't she, my baby, y'all. Huh? She told you? Yes. She said... Wait, what happened? She, she told me, she said, uh, I went to uh, have a, a DNA test done with another guy, and it came back that it was his baby. She said, I'm sorry if I was putting you through that. That is not bro, true. you didn't tell me that, bro. Oh, no, bro. bro. She told no, me that. that's not she true. Had, she had a DNA test with another guy, and it came back that it was his child. Miss White, no, is that I, true? I told, Your Honor, he's right. I did tell him that I had a DNA test done with another guy. Did, did it that come back that it, it was his and child? It, I you never did have a child? DNA test. I just didn't want to deal with DeMario. But did you tell me that it came back? Mr. Holland, yeah. let him her testify. He's very honest about me saying that I had DNA tests done with another guy. I did, Your Honor. I told him that because I didn't want to deal with Mr. Holly keep this claiming my child. I didn't yeah. want to deal... I didn't want to hear him saying that she wasn't... that she wasn't his child. Yeah, no, I, I didn't want to hear that because I couldn't believe that because I've been with this man for so long. He... I mean, yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to hear All right, hear you know what? You know what? This, this is too much, and I need to hear from the source. Jerome, please escort the other guy in the courtroom. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to talk to Mr. Parker. Mr. Parker, thank you for joining us today. I have a few questions for you. How did you find out Ms. White was pregnant? Um, I got a phone call from Ms. White telling me that she was pregnant, but it was a possibility that it was somebody else, baby, also. 
So, how did you find out she had the baby? Um, I got a picture sent to me via Instagram. And when I looked at the picture, I, I, I seen that she was mine because I seen how she looked. I what is the evidence piece, you're holding? Um, the picture that was sent to me to Let via me see Instagram. That. So, you got this picture on your phone? Yes, ma'am. And you looked at the picture and said, that baby looks like me? Yes, ma'am. And she also agreed that the baby looked like me. Now I want to understand the next layer to this is that Mr. Holly testified that Ms. White told him that she had had a DNA test with the other guy, that would be you, yes, ma'am. and that it was determined that you were the biological father and Mr. Holly could go on about his business because he was not the biological father. Did you or did you not have that DNA test? No, ma'am. You did not? No, ma'am. Did she ever mention anything to you about a DNA test? Yes, ma'am. She told me that she had a DNA test with him and that he wasn't... That he My was Lord. Woo-wee! <clears throat> so, Ms. White told you that she had a DNA test with Mr. Holly and he... Who was not the father. ...was not the biological father. Yes, ma'am. So, you told... Mr. Holly, you had had a DNA test with Mr. Parker, and he was the biological father, but you told Mr. Parker you had a DNA test with Mr. Holly, and he was not the biological father. Yes, Your Honor, and I said that due to the fact that mm. Mr. Holly disclaimed my daughter from the beginning. So when Ms. Mr. Parker started claiming her as his child, I just, like, just went with that. Like, you're just... You're her father. Like... So you was lying two ways. Yes, ma'am. And you were doing that because you felt like Mr. Holly didn't want anything to do, do with your with child, it. but Mr. Parker did. Yes, so ma'am. now I'll just spin these tales yeah. to make it point in the direction of Mr. Parker. Yes, Your Honor, but I wouldn't be less of a mother Your to Honor. not be here today to get the results for my child. Your Honor. So I made a mistake, and, I, and we all do. My, I'm here this, to clean up my, thing my right mistake here, Your Honor. that How I made because I owe that to my child. If, I take care, if, I, if I've been taking care of all my other kids, why would I not take care of her child? If it's my child, I'm going to take why. care of my child. I, I, I got all my doubts. I just... I feel like that's not my baby. So, you don't think Mikhail's so biological I do, child? No, I don't. But, Mr. Parker, you do believe she's yours? Yes, ma'am. And you are hoping that and she's I yours? And I hope she's mine. And, Ms. White, am I assuming that you hope Mr. Parker's her biological father as well since you were spinning these tales to make it point in his direction? I hope it's Mr. Parker's. But you believe it's Mr. Holly's? I believe it's Mr. Holly's. So... Obviously, the stakes are very high here. There's been a lot that's transpired. I can see in your eyes, Ms. White, that despite whatever has happened, this has taken a toll on you. Because I need help. I need help. I'm a young woman. I'm trying to find my way. I don't want my baby to go through that. I made a mistake that I won't ever make again. And I'm sorry, because I'm only hurting her. And that's why I'm here today. <laughs> I don't want her to grow up and don't know her daddy. My daddy was deceased. And I, I knew so many men to be my stepdaddy. I don't want that. I want something consistent. Whether I want to go on with my life or whatever, I want her daddy to be consistent. When you say I need help, I, I feel you right here in my spirit. Because I know what it's like to raise a child. And it's not easy. All right. It's so hard. And I know that I can... I can truly feel that you want to feel the void that you felt in your own life by not having your father. And I... you don't want Makayla to feel the same Your thing. Honor, I needed my father. I ran to... <sighs> if you don't stop talking... I ran to... Me, I went to the streets looking for love and ran into the wrong men. Yeah, like, me, I don't man. want my baby to... Run. I don't want that. I want... I need her father to guide her so he can at least try to protect her from the bad guys, you know, at least. Your Honor. And that's what I did. Make a statement, Your Honor. I understand. As long as it's something constructive. It is constructive. This woman sitting here running game on you, Your Honor. She, How had, I she had a game? little baby on social media twerking and everything. What that little, little baby? Girl, that little girl right there. My baby don't even know Come how to on, twerk. Man, that girl, man. My baby is she running game listen, on you. Listen, twerk. listen, listen. She's running game. She's that, that, well, like your baby. No, no, running she's running game. Oh, hold on. Mr. Holly, first of all, as to what's going on with the baby outside of this courtroom, the truth is I don't know that. But one thing I do know is that we have the results and the answer to this question. Let's, and that's what I'm trying to get to. Jerome? Let's do it. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as...
as follows. In the case of White versus Holly, when it comes to two-year-old Michaela White, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Parker, you are not the father. My Lord. Are we ready for the next result? Let's do it. In the case of White versus Holly, when it comes to two-year-old Michaela White, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Holly, you are the father. Right. Dang. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Parker. <laughs> you were sincerely hoping this was your child? I was. I was, too. <laughs> That's lie. why. That's why I can't. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie I, either. I was I'm too. I hold on, hold on, hold on. Since we not lying, I was I too. Do and it. you know why I was? I didn't see anything when it came from you. I was listening to Miss White basically tell the truth that as a woman, I weaved a web of lies because I was in a relationship that was not healthy for me. So I lied to this man, then I lied to this man, and at the end of the day, what I figured out is that I lied to myself and ultimately put a lie on my child. 